This plot from the OECD is actually fairly similar to the resource curse plot that we showed in the previous figure. Um, high share of rents from natural resources in the national income. These countries out here on the far right have a lot of oil, or otherwise are relying on natural resources, so this is not that different from the previous plot. But shown here, rather than economic growth, is how their students performed on an international test of mathematics competence. And what you will notice is that for the um, countries that relied very heavily on, on natural resources, um, including the oil, you don't have those countries doing really, really well in this international comparison. Some countries that don't have natural resources also didn't perform well, but the countries that performed really well are fairly low in reliance on their natural resources. They're using something else to make their economy work. Just like the previous figure, there is no proof in this one, that relying on oil gives you poor students. You can argue about how representative the test is, you can argue about history, whether people are taking it seriously, but in general we like to see our students do well, and in general seeing this sort of behavior in the data makes some people nervous and makes them ask whether there really is a sort of resource curse that relying very heavily on resources leads to poor societal outcomes. And if there's a chance of that, then some people wonder whether it might be wise long term to try to move your country more in this direction.